Hey David, uh, saw your saw your message in the group, and I figured I could just whip this video up real quick. Um, you know, agent creation dashboard. Turn on a couple, couple clicks. Call transfer. Um, oh, this is gonna be a bit hard because I needed to transfer. I need a second number. Let me just. Um, <laughs> so what's funny here is actually I'm going to actually that's the wrong number. I'm gonna have the simple talk assistant transfer me to my Vappy assistant. So I'm gonna have the AI transfer me to another AI, which is I've done before and it is pretty funny. Um you can leave this as prompt based or you can make it keyword based, you know. Um Cold while I transfer you. Okay, and then you would just give it a prompt. I'm just going to use one of these templates because it's already in here. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. B2B sales. I don't, I've not actually not looked at any of these in a while, so. Um. Sure, there's, there's like a bunch of information here, but I'm gonna... Oh, cool, yeah. Always ask if you... They, look, the one I chose actually already had a, some transfer logic in it. Always ask if you can transfer the call to a specialist to ensure... And ensure to use the word transfer when doing it. So I just used one of the templates that was already in here, right? But um, I don't even know which one I clicked on. Maybe it's voice AI services. But I'm just gonna kind of change the language a bit to have it say what this phrase is. So please hold while I transfer you um, ensure to use the word well, I'm gonna say ensure to use the phrase so it should be you know fairly that simple we're gonna launch the call I'm getting the call This is me. How can I help you? Hey, Trajan. I'm an AI assistant from Voice Solutions, and I wanted to chat with you about how our AI technology can revolutionize the way you handle calls at company name. We can streamline your operations. Yeah, that's all cool. Cut um, I'm not awesome. interested I'm at the so. moment. Oh, I don't know why I'm giving it rebuttals. Maybe I should just tell it. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. You can connect me. Fantastic. I'll transfer you to one of our specialists right away. Just one moment. Oh. Thank you. Please remain on the line while I transfer you. Great speaking. Appreciate your time. So what I just noticed is it act, there's actually some, like, language in here, up, up here, that says I'll transfer you to a specialist right away, and that's not what I want to say. I want to say please hold while I transfer you, so I'm going to maybe try that again. And this might not be working because it's in a, it's in a, the training agent creation and not in the actual webhook. I want to ensure you get the best right. information. Can you say please hold while I transfer you? I want to ensure you get the best information. Would it be all right to connect you with a specialist to address that question? Yes, and say please hold while I transfer you. I want to ensure you get the best information. Would it be all right to connect you with a specialist to address that question? Yes. Fantastic. I'll transfer you to one of our specialists right away in just one moment. Thank you. Please remain on the line while I transfer you. Great speaking. Appreciate your time. And this is why we don't use <laughs> templates without testing them. But, um, oh, that's not what I want to do. All right, let's try this again. Maybe it'll be better. And again, it might not be working because I'm inside the agent GUI, um, the agent dashboard. Hello, is this Trajan? Yep, this is me. 
AI from Voice Solutions. We specialize in using AI to handle outbound sales and customer service calls. All right, cool. I've learned about your company, company name, and I believe our AI system could be a game changer for your business. Can we explore this further by connecting you with a specialist to discuss how Voice Solutions can benefit you specifically? Um, yeah, can you, can you transfer me? <laughs> yeah, it worked. Hey there, this is Iva, your intelligent voice assistant. Are you ready to experience the future? Yep. So the, it, just so y'all know, it did transfer me. I just, it. this is another voice assistant, so it kind of sounds like it didn't, but now I am on a different phone line now. I apologize if there was any confusion. Rest assured, you are speaking with Iva, the best AI assistant in the world. How can I assist you today? Oh, I love her. Um, so... I just had simple talk transfer me to my Vappy assistant. Um, like you just saw, again, all I did was take the template. I did not do anything special at all. Um, and then I just read through the prompt real quick and realized that up here, you know, it, it pretty much had in two spots the logic for um, transferring a call. So I had only noticed it down here the first time. And all I did was I just took the same phrase that I put down here and I moved it up. Um, where was it? Um, I mean, you guys saw me change it, but now I can't. I don't really see where it was. Oh, yeah, here. Uh, if they show interest, fantastic. Please hold while I transfer you. So I, it needed to say that specific phrase because I put this phrase in here. Please hold while I transfer you. But you also could have just left it at prompt based and it would have, you know, would have just kind of figured it out. I prefer the keyword based because it does have to save this very specific response. That way it's just not transferring randomly. Like I would rather prompt it and, and, and get the AI to say something very specific rather than it just having this general. What I've noticed in a lot of the, the voice AI um, training is whenever you want it to do live transferring, live transferring typically has not been super reliable because as soon as you toggle on transferring, it always just kind of defaults to, to the transfer function, but it seems like it's, it's doing a, a bit better. Um, you, you know, if, if you're trying to do a transfer call and a calendar booking, that's usually where there's a bit of too much overlap like it's hard for the AI to understand the difference between somebody confirming that they want to book an appointment and or confirming that they want to have the call transferred. So it just requires a bit more like intention when you're when you're prompting and setting that if else condition logic. So like if this happens, go down this branch, if this happens, go down this branch. Uh, so it can be done. It just takes a bit more effort. And, you know, the tech is changing weekly. So it's working today. We just did it. There you go. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. But all right, guys.